hand. I've got nine high card points and a five five shape, so I'm not strong enough to open, so I'll just pass. And part number two clubs, so we have a good club fit. Um, my hand just got immensely better. So I want, want to start by telling partner I've got uh, hearts. I've really got good clubs, so we're not going to let the opponents play at four spades. They doubled us in five clubs. I, I suspect we're going to make, but I'm not going to redouble. Yeah, so they made exactly 11 tricks. So we got uh, 550 points. So they're just going to race through the play here. Okay. So here was the whole hand. Uh, I partner bidding three clubs. They really shouldn't be bidding three clubs on this hand. Um, I would expect a different hand for that, but um, I'm not sure why they did that. But they just had two diamond losers on this hand, um, and they can take a club finesse and a heart finesse and be able to make. And they only lose two diamonds if uh, it starts off by leading a diamond rather than a spade. What did they lead? They led a heart. Um, so, okay. So, my partner didn't want to take the club finesse because they're in a doubled contract, didn't want to risk the heart rough and that sort of stuff. So they played it nice and safely. Could have made 12 tricks, but uh, tried to... Um, Limit it. Uh, I think the opponents can actually beat the mm, ace of spades, king of spades. Wow. Okay, so this was an unbelievably good play by my partner. It's called a scissors coup. Um, now, what they did. So let's just backtrack. Okay, so East led a heart, and West only has one heart. And if East ever gets back in, they'll be able to rough um, the heart, get them a heart rough. Now we can see that in diamonds, we have not only ace, king, or queen, or jack of diamonds. So it's likely that they could get between the two hands by leading a diamond at some point. So anyway, my partner worried about a heart rough. Uh, one that took heart finesse, but then uh, just led a club to the ace to try and cut down it. Now if uh, clubs were 2-1, it was just going to be a nice easy hand. But now they're 3-1, and they're still worried about Wes getting that heart rough. So here what they do now is they play ace of spades getting rid of the uh, following suit. Now king of spades getting rid of the diamond. So now they've only got uh, the diamond loser and the king of clubs. So they've only got two losers at the moment. But they're still worried about um, ace getting in and giving their partner a rough. So if at this stage north had played a club, you can go down because it can go club to the queen and king, low diamond over to the queen, and now play a heart and west can trump with the club. But instead of playing that, north plays the nine of spades and throws the other diamond away. Let's them have a spade trick instead of a diamond trick. And now notice that west is on lead. They can't actually get between the two hands. They can't, can no longer lead a low diamond to East Queen to then get a heart rough. Um, so when they get in with the King of Clubs, there's nothing they can do about it. So they just take the King of Clubs, and now my partner's got the rest of the tricks. They can repeat the heart finesse, and it's, they just trumped a heart, and they're all good from here. So that was quite a cute hand. Um, so that play uh, was a, I think called a scissors coup, and just about cutting communication between the opponents by doing what's called a loser on loser play, 
where you play top spade and throw a, another loser away. And what happens is only one opponent can win the trick that you let them win. And by throwing your other loser away, you've cut communications between the two hands. So quite a neat hand, and well done by my part.